you did it. But there's more. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Is broken. There's no way you can fix it. What do you do now, sir? tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swearing. Open the gate. She can't. Open the gate. It's locked. Try harder. She can't. She will. She'll find a way. She always finds a way. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him. Where is he? Where's he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark world. 
The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown. And asks Bowser's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. You're still alive and Dillian's dead. He doesn't deserve to be dead. How does that make you feel?
Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking Pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. Your curse has claimed future. Dillian. Two realities. He's the reason she keeps it. Do you remember how he made you feel? He was kind to her. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Speedy. Speedy. 
runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? If there are true gods, though. we're lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in the world. Dillian never much cared for the underworld, and looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbal. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, careful. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Simon. I cannot understand your darkness. You cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? You give up the beautiful world thing. You, only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. <laughs> or is this the what place you pay? What if you're wrong? What if this has nothing to do with the sword? What if we're wrong? The sword will never work. The gift that makes you so special in life. <laughs> what if this is the end? Just it's just a trick. The it's just a You've been fooled before, you could be fooled again. You're being tested. You don't know the world's to just a game for you. You never know which way it's going to go. Of course I know. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? This place feels... It's... Creepy. Creepy. It feels wrong. It feels strange. Where is it? Where are we? Turn back. This is where he is. Didius. The light. Go towards it. He's in the house. He's Find going him. in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. The air is gone. Keep going. How do you find it? It's just a trial. It's just another test. You just have to solve it, and then you will find him. <laughs> it's a test. 
Like the old warrior trials. Delian will help us. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. With the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. Fix it. You have to fix it. How are you going to fix it? You can't get to the house until the bridge is fixed. You must. You have to get to the house. You have to find Dale. Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. That is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, and beware, because there will be death in that house. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You Senua! Have to get in. Come to me! Where are you? I'm here! I'm right here! Are you in there? You have to find him. The room. Come out Focus. The rooms. They're coming for me!
Jesus. Huh? It's close. It's close. Move away. Samoa, move away. I feel it. You'll die. Charlotte, you're dying. The burning has begun. Dying. The burning. The burning has begun. Go to the gate. There they are. The rooms. You can get through. Run. 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 Shano! Shano! What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are, like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, this darkness has made me a monster.